Hello everybody, welcome to the channel Crossing the Spiritual Streams. My name's Tandra and today we're doing our daily messages from Spirit. These are our timeless tarot readings that we have daily messages from. We have three different piles for you to choose. We have pile one here with the Tarot Familiars deck. We have pile two with the Everyday Witch deck and pile three with the Shadowscapes Tarot. And you pick which pile has your messages in it. We will go out and be getting those messages. These are timeless readings, so whenever you run across them, feel free to watch, and there should be a message for you. We also do in each reading our Oracle Spheres, where you can think of a yes or no question that you can get an answer to, and we will be getting those in each reading. We're going to give you some time to reflect on the piles, and when you're ready, there's timestamps in the description that will lead you directly to your reading, and we'll see you there. one those of you that chose the tarot familiars deck we're going to go out and we're going to get your daily messages today find out what spirit has to say to you and then we will also be doing your oracle spheres so that's where you can think of your yes or no question that you'd like to get your answer to so let's see what spirit has to say today we have the nine of swords the eight of pentacles and the Five of Cups. Lately, in a, some of the readings, there have um, been several of you that have been in a state of anxiety, worry, de possible depression, um, maybe even some other words that aren't even coming to mind right now, but basically... There's been several readings lately where there's a group of you that are in a mode of just not sure, you know, what's happening, uh, where to go. You're not sure. You feel like you have a loss of control. Um, you just feel very an anxious is kind of the, the word I'm getting, or at least worried, um, those kinds of energies. And... Spirit has had different messages for you guys. Uh, a couple of times it's been things like you've had people that can help you through this. Uh, a couple of times is, is that you will have some reasons to maybe uh, turn that around and not um, uh, things will be better and you won't be so worried. Today's message is, is slightly different in that it's saying that there's going to be some hard work involved. Uh, that you will need to put in some hard work to get through this 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 energy that you're in. Um, they're not sugarcoating it here at all. They're saying, okay, there's going to be some hard work. But if you're steady and true and keep working, uh, your level of anxiety and other things should go through a transformation and it should change it may not go away entirely this may be something you'll have to deal with for quite a while but it should get on a different level or be easier to cope with and deal with um, as time goes on but that it will be a struggle it will be some work on your part that uh, it's not going to happen overnight it's not going to be something um, there, but they are saying it is possible to uh, move away from the feelings that you're in now to a better um, type of, of feeling, okay? So for those of you that have been going through these struggles, I am so sorry. I've been there. I know what it's like. It is so difficult. If you need any help, uh, if you just like to talk to somebody, there, my email address is in the description. You guys can, um, it's at crossingtss um, at uh, gmail.com. You can write to me and just, you know, we'll write back and forth. And if that will help at all, um, if you just want to get some stuff off your chest or do whatever, I do like to offer that to people when I feel like they might need that because, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for you guys. Um, if there's anything I can do to help besides channel messages from spirit, 
you know, I want to be there for you guys. So, um, you know, just write to me and, you know, we'll write back if, if you feel like that's something that will help at all. Okay, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there for you guys because, you know, this energy has been kind of strong this week and I don't um, want you guys to feel like, you know, you're just kind of out there all by yourself, you know, dealing with this because you're not. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our Oracle Spheres. We have three different stands here. We have silver, bronze, and gold. You decide which stand has your answer. You think of your question, and we'll go out and get your answers. Number one silver is a not now. Number two bronze is also a not now. And then number three, gold, is a no. Okay, so we have a not now, a not now, and a no. So there's your Oracle Sphere answers for today. Thank you so much for being here for this reading. Do check out our other videos. We have lots of timeless tarot on lots of topics. Uh, and then we do these daily readings every day. We also do yearly and monthly predictions as well. So do check out the channel. Uh, we appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up. Share the channel with your friends and family. And leave us comments. Those are all very important to us and they help us out greatly. We look forward to seeing you again and may the stars guide your path. Bye bye. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. Those of you that chose the Everyday Witch Tarot, we have your messages from Spirit today and then we also have our Oracle Spheres that we will be looking at. So if you have a yes or no question that you'd like to get an answer to, be thinking of that. And we will get the answers. And Marty's getting ready to jump up here any second. So we might show up for the reading here in just a minute. Marty the kitty cat here. Because he is on his way up. I can almost tell. All right. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. And the Page of Swords. All right. Wow. Wow. The message that's coming through today is a very, very good one. Uh, basically, you guys are getting ready to embark on some sort of... Oh, well, there he is. <laughs> Hi there, baby boy. You guys are getting ready to embark on some sort of... Hmm, I'm trying to think of... The original word that kind of came to my mind was crusade, but that's not really um, it. But there is going to be some sort of ideas that you're going to be working with. Um, some sort, you're going to learn, uh, you're going to go through some learning processes and getting some things in your mind. Uh, they don't want to just see your big old body here come on let's go this way <laughs> sorry about this guys he's been coming into so many readings lately uh okay i think he's just a ham and wants to be on camera he's also fascinated with anything electronic my printers he's been watching video games lately uh, i don't know <laughs> he's just kind of getting into that energy okay go go that way go that way all right, so anyway, I'm so sorry, guys. Back to reading. Okay. Basically, you guys are getting ready to have some thoughts, some ideas, some learning that's getting ready to happen that is going to be very successful for you. You're going to feel uh, very much like, you know, we've got the Six of Swords right here. You're going to feel very much like people are going to celebrate you for your ideas. You're going to feel like they're going to be excited uh, for what you did for the community, uh, that kind of thing. Because I feel like you guys are going to have some really good ideas that you're going to be able to implement and do and help out people and so forth. And by doing that, uh, you're going to get basically accolades for it and people are going to notice you and people are going to be very excited for you. 
this is going to be kind of a new adventure for you. This is kind of new, um, something different. It's kind of a learn, you're in a learning phase of it, but that um, once you kind of get into it and implement it, it's going to be really exciting. All right, so that's kind of a cool message. I like that. Sorry it was so broken up. Usually when Marty shows up, I always feel like I'm saying something kind of important that you need to pay attention to, but when he kind of just kind of hides the cards and all, then it's a little more difficult to think that. So <laughs> I think you just want to notice today. All right. Let's do our Oracle Spheres. This is where you think of your yes or no question that you can get an answer to. We have silver, bronze, and gold today. You think of a yes or no question, and then you get an answer. All right. Number one, silver is a no. Number two, bronze is a not now. And a number three, gold is a yes. So we have a no, a not now, and a yes. So there's your Oracle Sphere answers for today. Thank you so much for being here for the reading. Do check out our other videos. We have lots of timeless tarot out there on lots of topics. We also do our uh, yearly uh, predictions and our monthly predictions as well. So if you get a chance to check those out, uh, those might be of use to you. Also, if you could give the video a thumbs up, share the channel with your friends and family, and leave us comments. All those things are really important to us, and we appreciate it. All right, guys, we'll see you again in future readings, and may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your daily messages from Spirit, those of you that chose the Shadowscapes Tarot. And we will be getting your messages from Spirit, as well as... Your Oracle Spheres, so you can think of your yes or no question that you get an answer to. Alright, let's see what Spirit has to say today. Oh, we've got the Five of Wands. We got the Moon card. And the Two of Cups. Okay. Okay. There is a change getting ready to go on in your um, romantic life. Uh, there was a, a pile yesterday that said basically that several of you would be embarking on something new in your romantic department. And this kind of goes along with that in that um, it may be something new, um, but if it's not a new thing, it's definitely a change. Uh, you're getting ready to have a change. It's possibly a change of partnerships uh, or a change in, in your partner or it's going to be a different level of a relationship than what you've already have. So like I say right now you're just kind of dating casually. Maybe you'll become exclusive. If you um, are already an exclusive you might um, bring the relationship to another level like moving in together or getting engaged or uh, possibly getting married or some other things like that. So basically, whatever uh, relationship you're in, if you're in a relationship where you're already married or together or have a spouse, there's going to be a change up in that relationship. Not necessarily a bad change, not necessarily, um, you know, a getting rid of or anything like that. It could just mean uh, that you'll grow closer together or that you'll um, change up the way maybe you guys do things uh, together or see each other. Uh, you know, maybe you'll implement like a date night and that's something you don't do now or something else like that. Basically, there's some sort of change coming up and it, it will be in um, a relationship department, probably with a significant other. Okay, so that is your message for today. All right, let's take a look at our Oracle Spheres. We have three different stands. We have silver, bronze and gold. You decide which stand you'd like to get your answer on. You think of a yes or no question that you would like to get an answer to. And then we'll go out and we'll get those. Alright. The number one silver is probable. Number two bronze is not now. And number three gold is a very likely. So it's probable, not now, and very likely. All right, guys, thanks so much for being here for the reading. Please remember to check out our other videos on the channel. We have lots of timeless tarot on lots of different topics. And we also put out our yearly and our monthly uh, predictions as well. 
as these daily readings. So we look forward to seeing you for those. And if you could give the video a thumbs up, share the channel with your friends and family, and leave us comments, all those things are greatly appreciated as well. We look forward to seeing you again, and may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye.